Beautiful night for racing in the capital at Regal Carlton Raceway as once again we present the open trot and the open pace. Let's take a look at tonight's action. Up at the outside, here comes Corleo to be second and shuffle back to third now is Royal Encore as they turn to the top of the lane. Three quarter time was 129 and one. Down the stretch they come. And it's Orly's Fury on the inside. Cor Leo on the outside in the drive for the wire. Orly's Fury, Cor Leo, the two of them together with Royal Encore third. And it's Orly's Fury holding on on the inside to win it in 159 and four. Into the winner's enclosure. Orly's Fury owned by Orlando Stables Incorporated. Trained and driven to victory by Richard Samard. Orly's Fury trotting the mile in 159 and four. Second win in three starts this year for Orly's Fury. He now has two wins and a third in three starts this year. Orly's Fury, a four-year-old horse by Cadabra out of a victory's force mare. <laughs> Round the final turn, Gucci Eyepatch only by three parts of a length now. Diamond Call is charging up on the outside as they turn to the top of the lane. They're coming home. Gucci Eyepatch trying to get it done. Diamond Call on the outside in the drive for the wire. Gucci Eyepatch, Diamond Call won't go away. And racing third is last minute Mike. Gucci Eyepatch holding on over Diamond Call. Last minute Mike third and Lady D Morgan was fourth. There's your winner now in the winner's enclosure of tonight's second race, number two, Gucci Eyepatch. Owned by Réjean Paget and trained by Réjean Paget, Simon DeLille driving Gucci Eyepatch to victory in 201 flat, the maiden victory for this two-year-old filly by He's Watching out of an Artiscape mare. <laughs> Round the final turn. And it's all riot here by a length and a half. Play Guns is second. Racing third on the inside. That's Courage. And in fourth between horses. That's Majul Rafiki. Down the stretch they come. And it's all riot in the drive for the wire. Riot charging up the inside now. Comes Global Supremacy. And on the outside, that's Arithmogenic. But it's Riot holding on between horses. Courage finishes fourth. There's your unofficial winner. Now in the winner's enclosure, number four, Riot, co-owned by Luc Blais and Pierre Charette. The trainer, Maxime Vallée, Vallée and the driver, Stéphane Gendra, and Riot. Trot of the mile tonight in 158-1, and one, a new lifetime winning mark with his three-year-old gelding by Mach 3. Out of an I am a fool mare. <laughs> Round the final turn. It is still Capture to Rev trying to take it gate to wire. Racing second. That's Stormont Knight. LMC Mass Gem third. Down the stretch they come. Capture to Rev has this one locked up in the drive for the wire. Capture to Rev. Stormont Knight. On the inside, that's Neon Lights up for second. Stormont Knight for the show, and it looked like Isolate was fourth. Capture to Rev in 155 and four. In the winner's circle now, the unofficial winner of tonight's fourth race, number four. Capture de Rev, owned by Enquiry Provoquanti. Maxime Vallée is the trainer, and Stéphane Gendron driving Capture de Rev to victory in 155 and four. That's back-to-back -back wins for Stéphane Gendra in the bike tonight. A driving double for Stéphane Gendra. Capture de Rev is a five-year-old gelding by Muscle Mass out of a Mona Hall mare, or should say a Monty Hall mare. 
around the final term. Leader rolls on the inside. Silverado on the outside as they turn to the top of the lane. They're coming home. Leader rolls on the inside. Charging on the outside. Silverado in the drive for the wire. Leader rolls. Silverado nose to nose. And it's going to be Leader Rose over Silverado. Finishing third, best of best, Hanover. And it looked like Sports Authority was fourth. Tight finish, 153 flat, time of the mile. Into the winner's enclosure. The winner of tonight's fifth race, number one, Lee DeRose, owned by Guy Corbet, trained by Maxime Vallée, and driven to victory by Stefan Jandra. Lee DeRose, pacing the mile in 153 flat. That's a new lifetime winning mark. For Lee Rose, this four-year-old mare by Leader Bayama out of a Shanghai Phil mare. <laughs> Round the final turn, they've got to catch the roadies. Darcy N is second, Mitt Jagger third, Mock Import, Mock Impact fourth. Along the inside, down the stretch they come. It's the roadies with a lead. Darcy N charging up the inside, passing lane. Darcy N now with a lead. Darcy N, the roadies. And here comes the girls of image. On the extreme outside, with Rose Run Slider also there, tight for the show. Darcy N up the inside passing lane in 156 flat. There's your unofficial winner now, the winner's enclosure of tonight's sixth race. Number four, Darcy N, owned by Gordon and Matthew McDonald and Christopher Boland. Matthew McDonald, the trainer, Stefan Brasso, driving Darcy N to victory in 156 flat. That's two straight wins now for Darcy N. Here at Rito Carlton, tonight in 156 flat. Round the final turn, and it's all Pasadena Star. Coming on now to be second, that's Cascada. Batting stats third. Down the stretch they come. Pasadena Star has the brakes on. And here comes Cascada on the outside, but he won't catch Pasadena Star. Cascada second. Batting stats third and finishing fourth, alert Hanover. Pasadena star in 156 and four. Into the winner's circle, the winner of tonight's seventh race, number seven, Pasadena star. Owned by a numbered Quebec company and Pierre Minot. Pasadena star trained and driven to victory by Stefan Pouliot. Pasadena star tried in the mile in 156 and four. That's the seventh win in 24 starts this year. For Pasadena Star, an eight-year-old gelding by Cadabra out of a burnt Hanover mare. <laughs> Round the final turn, Avatar J trying to get it done. Ab tracking in the pocket, that Chalure's AD, and Atomic Million AM is third on the outside. Down the stretch they come. Avatar J trying to finish the job. Up the inside passing lane comes Chalure's AD. In the drive for the wire, Chalure's AD. Avatar J, Chalure's AD in front. Avatar J tight for second with Stonebridge Beach. Two in a row for Chalure's AD tonight in 153 flat. Number seven, Shalores AD. Owned by Ecuries McGuire Incorporated. Trained and driven to victory by Guy Gagnon. Shalores AD. Pacing the mile tonight in 153 flat. That's two straight wins for Shalores AD at this level. Here at Rito, Shalores AD, a seven-year-old gelding by Riggins. Out of a magical Mike Mare. <laughs> Round the final turn, Asterism trying to hang on. But here comes Hope to be first up on the outside. And Gallagher Silster's a three wide third with Cliff Drummond fourth. An eighth to pace. Asterism has given it up here. Hope to be first has a lead in the drive for the wire. Hope to be first. Choreographer on the inside. Hope to be first. Choreographer. Hope to be first in front. In the show spot, that's Macapello. 154 and 1, the time of the mile. Here's your unofficial winner now into the winner's enclosure. Number one, hope to be first. Owned by Gary McDonald, Derek Romano, and Peter Kircher. Matthew McDonald, the trainer. Clark Stacy driving hope to be first to victory in 154 and 1. That's the 14th win in 27 starts this year for hope to be first. An 11 year old gelding by Sagebrush out of a Cambest mare. That's his second straight win here at Rideau. 
and what a sensational season this veteran campaigner is having, hope to be first. One of the winningest horses in the country. Round the final turn, Miss Rockadelli on the inside, GA Speed Sammy on the outside, officially Rusty third, and Maggio Lubecca fourth. Down the stretch they come, out in the lead now, GA Speed Sammy, in the drive for the wire, GA Speed Sammy, officially Rusty, up the inside passing lane, GA Speed Sammy, holding on over officially Rusty, finishing third, Miss Rockadelli, lucky player was fourth, and Wildcat Cam was fifth. 154 and three the time of the mile. Into the winner's enclosure, the winner of the 10th and final race tonight, number eight, GA Speed Sammy. Owned by Elaine Carrier, trained by Yves Tessier, Pascal Barubi, driving GA Speed Sammy to victory in 154 and three. GA Speed Sammy, a four-year-old horse by Shanghai Phil. Out of an ambivalent mare. Big night for Stefan Gendre. He won three races on the card. Don't forget our first post time for Thursday night, 6.30. We'll see you then.